Welcome to our continuing studies in the book of Numbers, and we're in Numbers chapter 2, looking at the layout of that ancient church camp in the wilderness. And it's one of my favourite studies in the whole Bible, and to really appreciate this, it's best if you get a piece of paper out so you can just draw out a little sketch of what it says about the layout of the camp. And imagine looking at it from the perspective of, say, a Moabite or an Edomite, somebody who was up in the mountains looking down at this camp of Israel. So, uh, first of all, it, you, well, the first thing perhaps note is the way that the it says in Numbers 2 verse 2, Every one of the children of Israel shall camp by his own standard beside the emblems of his father's house um, and camp distance from the, the tabernacle. So... Uh, that idea of the emblems or standards, you can see the practical benefit of it straight away. That as you were walking around in that ancient church community and you wanted to find out where you belonged, you could see the big sort of emblem, banner, coat of arms of the tribe you belonged to. And then you could see the, the heraldry, the coat of arms, the banner belonging to the sort of clan down to the family the, the specific family coat of arms that belongs to you so you could see those banners lifted up and it's a great way of seeing your where you belong in that massive ancient church community and for people into heraldry all about coat of arms and the medieval christian kingdoms were very serious about these coats of arms where houses and families had such a thing they look back when i've read books on heraldry they sometimes look back to this numbers chapter two where the bible has this idea that the tribes and the clans and the families have a coat of arms why is that important or what's interesting about that not only is it that practical you know negotiating around the the camp but it is, again, emphasising this sense of who you belong to, an identity. Because in our modern world, we have this tremendous crisis of identity. We don't know who we are. We don't know where we belong, where we fit in, what's our home. And particularly, you know, for most of the world down through the most of history, you grow up and belong. You, where, you, where you're born and where you grow up is, is kind of your home, where you belong to. And there's a much stronger sense of, of, of your identity and belonging and the sense that your family is important to you and who, they, they are a big part of who you are. Whereas in the modern world, there's been certainly, it's, it goes back for quite a while, but we felt it very intensely in the past 50 years, that sense that you leave your home and family and where you were born, maybe go to university, go away to somewhere else to get a job. And there's very much a sense that you almost forget or discard that family identity and, and there is then a crisis of I don't know who I am I don't know what I'm doing in life what's it all for and there's this I love the idea that in that ancient church there were these this heraldry coats of arms banners and you could see that and have and maybe on them there was there were pictures or signs or words that gave a sense of what you stood for what what was the characteristics of your family your clan your tribe and that i find that that gave that probably gave quite a strong sense of belonging that you because even with football teams if you see your colors the, the 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 badge of your football team people then feel oh that's those are my people that i belong to them and the lord god's made us that way that we have a sense of with the colors and the signs and the symbols that that helps us to know who we are and who we belong to. And that was written into that ancient church community in Numbers chapter 2. Uh, it's not a trivial point. And that sense of knowing where we belong, who we belong to, where our loyalties are, where our identity is found. See, in your local church family, this is why the most important thing, even more important than whether you read the Bible every day and how much you... The most important thing is whether... You are going to your local church every Sunday, the prayer meeting, that even throughout the week, you are staying in contact with your local church family. 
keeping up on who's doing well, who's struggling. You're sharing your life with them. That's where you get your identity from, that your local church family is, it must be more important to you than any other sources of identity in the whole world. And that is something we even get from Numbers chapter 2 and verse 2.